Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 8. I'm your host, Renovate, and we are in our radiation suit. Gotta show you guys something. This is really cool. So, uh, yesterday's episode was recorded about 24 hours ago. And I do want to see if I can find something real quick that you guys might think's funny. You might not think it's funny. Um, I don't see them. I think I killed them all. <laughs> so I'll tell you here what happened in a minute. But let's go over here. So I actually want to go into this dimension first. All right. And then I want to turn off the breeding of these actually yeah let's just turn off the breeding of these i think we're good so let's get rid of these i don't want them to breed anymore or i don't at least i don't want them to speed up anymore i should say that um and then we don't need this anymore so let's go ahead and get rid of this i don't need that anymore i've already turned it off in the other one Ugh, I, hate, I hate the sickness thing we get all right so let's go into the other one and i'll show you what happened in there it's really dark in here okay if we go in here You'll see, we've got tons of bees now. So we got, uh, all these are wasted radioactive bees. So I disconnected this and these guys have been breeding and there's no radiation in here right now. If I get out the Geiger counter, where is our Geiger counter? You'll see that there is no radiation. So we might need to pump some radiation in here. I'm not sure, but we got 2.3 thousand combs in that one and 2.3 thousand combs in that one. And these are all filled with wasted bees, all right? So I'm just going to let these guys do their thing. I'm probably going to put some more of these in here just so that they have more places to go. And I guess we could go and give them more radiation. I don't, I don't know if that's if we really need to. It seems like they're breeding fine on their own. <laughs> but anyways, I used this, the Tim Pad, to get home. And about 10 of these bees came through the temp pad with me. So don't use your temp pad if you're in here, if you guys even use a temp pad. But anyways, so uh, yesterday I said we were going to probably go to the, um, what is it? The Twilight Forest to get the queen's heads. But I think what I want to do actually is continue this process that we started with these bees. Okay. And the whole reason that we did bees, let's go up here and just put some stuff away. The whole reason that we started doing bees was that we could get these honeycombs that were radiated, right? And those honeycombs that are radiated would allow us to uh, get a, I want to say a safer way of getting nuclear waste, right? Now we could turn the reactor on and it could produce waste, but these uh, wasted radioactive bees give us these wasted radioactive combs and these combs if put in a chemical oxidizer give us nuclear waste right why do we need this we need this to be put inside a solar neutron activator which is going to produce polonium right why do we need polonium we need polonium in order to make these pellets right so uh, one of the ways that we can get polonium is, um, or that's one of the reasons we need to get some of these pellets, a B, we need it to put into a super critical phase shifter, right? And the polonium goes in here, it gets shot up with a bunch of power and it gives us antimatter. That's what we're, that's the ultimate goal is to get antimatter. But in order to get that, I need to make polonium. So let's go into polonium. All right. I need to get these polonium pellets. All right, and this polonium, like I said, is made by, um, here, I'll show you in a minute, but I just want to see if we have everything for this side of it. It should be water on here. Again, it's always water, seed oil, water. Yeah, water. All right, so polonium, uh, we can get by putting in that, that thing there, okay? But what I'm trying to get is these polonium pellets, and I want to check something real quick. We need, um, there's something that we needed what was it oh i need to make these so i need to make these solar neutron activators in order to make this there's something i'm missing hdpe sheets okay to make hdpe sheets i need to make these little pellets and in order to make these pellets i need to put liquid ethylene and oxygen with substrate will give us a pellet okay the cool thing is if you guys remember downstairs we started keeping all our substrate way back in the day and I'm like, we probably are going to need this. And we do. So we have 2,000 of it in here. I could probably put... Uh, I could probably... T actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this now. Let's do upgrades. Upgrade. And let's grab a... 
A copper one will be fine. See if we can get this. See, I think I can take this out, can't I? Yeah, we can take that out and then I can go like this. Bam, there. All right, cool. So all those will start going in there. We don't have to void them off because we're going to be needing them now to make these sheets. All right. So uh, the way you make these sheets, though, is you take your, remember it said it needed ethylene, liquid ethylene? Well, this is the ethylene gas that goes in here, right here. So what we had to do is I went and set this up. We needed a rotary condensator. And it basically takes the ethylene and turns it into a liquid form. So I've been letting this run for about 20 minutes. We're up to 185 buckets, basically. When this is full, this will shut off and we won't need any more. But from this, we need to take this and mix it with oxygen. So I need to go ahead and get that set up. And I thought we would do that today and see how far we can go. We'll just see where this episode goes. We might be able to get to... Uh, at least creating the polonium liquid, hopefully. Uh, but I do need some more sinks. We always need sinks. So let's do this. Uh-oh, I don't have any terracotta. Hmm. Do I have clay? I know I have clay. Let's just make a bunch of clay and put it in here. Actually, in here. There we go. And that should be good. Okay. I had to make another storage drive. Uh, I actually made the recipe to make all the way up to the 1 million. So this is 1,000... 16,000, 64,000. I guess this one would be 100,000. Yeah, that'd be 100,000, sorry. So it'd be 100,000 storage, uh, but I'm missing a couple things that we need to make, but I'll make that in between episodes. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this done. Sink. All right, guys, so I need a, a bucket. Uh, I have a bucket in here. Come on. So let's get a bucket and let's grab that. And then let's go grab some water. And I don't, I gotta remember, I don't have my outfit on, so my jumping abilities are a little bit different. All right, so let's go back into our building. Let's go up here. All right, and then we should have everything that we need. So just put that in there. There's our sink. Cool, let's do that. All right, let's go downstairs. Uh, we'll set this up. We'll just set it right up here on the floor. So I need to pull that out into a machine. So we'll put this, uh, actually, I don't need that there. Let's put this here. And then the machine that we're going to need is uh, this thing over here. That is the electrolytic separator. Pretty sure we have that already on AutoCraft. Let's do this mechanism separator. Um, allergic rotary condensator or chemical infuser. We don't have that. You're kidding. I thought we would have had that. I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, let's do separator in here. Separator? You're kidding. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, I need two of those. So let's go in here back out and go to mechanism at mechanism i need uh let's make like 10 of these real quick and then we should have enough to make this separator separator there we go and why do we not have it oh we do have it well, it's it's being goofy today oh this is the pattern my god that's why guys mechanism step here we go let's do this and then i'm missing this and I'm missing, what is that, gold powder? Gold dust. Okay, so let's grab a piece of gold. Gold. All right, let's grab just like a chunk. We'll go and make a bunch of it. Uh, it goes in this one. And that makes us some gold dust. All right, so we should be good there. And let's do, uh, go ahead and do gold. We'll just drag the dust into here like that. And that makes us our part. Put that back in there. And we'll do separator. And we should have everything we do. There we go. All right, cool. So let's go back downstairs. We'll put this, um, I believe this is the front, like this. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. And so this should, if I put power to this, uh, these are our universal cables. So let's go like this. And uh, you know what I can actually do is let's move this over to here. And then do I have our liquid? That's gases. That's not gases. Let's get the ultimates for gas or for liquids so this is gases jewels items fluids there we go that's good and we'll go like this and then let's get our little wrench out gases yeah fluids and let's put this on fluids and we'll go like this okay so that's filling that up all right and then we want to to uh dump the excess hydrogen keep the oxygen so we need oxygen and this into one machine right and that machine was uh let's go back to polonium and let's just um let's see let's go to polonium i need this and then i need hdp i need that so pressurized reaction chamber 
So we need the ethylene, I'm, I'm sorry, ethylene and oxygen. So pressurized reaction chamber. Do we have the recipe for that? We probably do, hopefully. Pressurized reaction, nope, that's an osmium. So we don't have that either, so let's go. <laughs> Pressurize, this, this episode's turned out great already. Mechanism, oh my god, At mechanism pressure. There we go, pressurized reaction chamber. Uh, that's what we need right there. So, swear to god, we made this one. Let's go upstairs. Swear to god, we made this. We had to have because we made it in the other thing. So, there is a pattern. That's a pattern. Chemical dissolution, chemical oxidizer, chemical infuser. Oh, we made two chemical infusers. Oh crap, that's probably what happened is I made the wrong recipe. All right, let's go in here. Let's do a um, pressurized reaction chamber. Let's make this, all right? And then put that in here. And let's see what it takes to make that. So pressurize, and we're probably missing a few things. So we're missing an enrichment chamber, uh, which we could make right here, or uh, enrichment. Man, we don't even have enrichment chamber? Uh, enrichment chamber. So let's go ahead and make that pattern. So enrichment chamber, bam. All right, so we should have everything now. Should have it all. There we go, let's do that. So now we can do pressurized right here and click start. We should have everything in there. All right, it's gonna make that for us. All right, so we'll have that and that's gonna make uh, the HDP pellets, right? So let's do HDP, there we go. That's gonna make these pellets, right? And then to make the uh, sheets, we just need to do a crafting recipe. Okay, that makes sense. Um, three makes one in an enrichment chamber, or nine makes one. So we'll want to run that through in another enrichment chamber for sure. All right, cool. We'll do that. We'll run it through another enrichment chamber. So let's go ahead and make another enrichment chamber. Save us some time and some, some stuff. Start. All right, let's go ahead and click on this and go to at mechanism pressurized. So we need that. All right, let's do this. So I need this to come into this, all right? So let's go like this. This is putting in the oxygen. It's perfect. And then we need, uh, this is what, liquid? Yeah, this is liquid. So we got uh, fluids here, all right? And then we will go, um, is this on fluids? Yes. So we'll extract that into here, all right? And then we need to bring this over to here, right? So we need item pipes, which we have, but not enough. So let's do item pipes. Let's grab a bunch of these, and then let's grab um, some upgrades. Grab one of those, right? And then we'll go like this. All the way across. I know this is janky, but we're only gonna do this one time. And then down, right? And then we can wrench this, and we can pull more than one through. And, oh, it doesn't have power, okay. Uh, yeah, we don't have power, do we? Let's go downstairs. All right, let's pull the power through the, through the bottom. So this is gases, this is our universal cables right here. All right, let's go like this. All right, so that's making our pellets, All right? So we need to take these pellets and put them in another enrichment chamber. So let's get this enrichment. And, oh, oh, we have enrichment chambers. Wow, we already had like upgraded ones. Uh, that's probably why I didn't see it. All right, let's put that there. Let's go ahead and get some energy upgrades. Uh, I only have 10 left. And let's, actually we have more than that. These are energy upgrades, those are energy upgrades. Oh, they only stack, okay. Uh, let's make like 30 more if possible. And let's take these. Not that we're like dying on power or anything, but it doesn't hurt. And we need to give this guy some power as well. So let's go like that. And then let's do um, auto sorting on, right? And then this needs to output to this side. Uh, let's do items um, output, auto output. All right, so let's get our configurator like this. And let's change that down there at the bottom to items. Perfect. And we will, here, let's get rid of this real quick. Let's do items. That's an output. Yes, that's items output. All right, and then we need this, and we need this to be items input. There we go, and then we'll put that back down. There we go, and that's gonna make us our sheets. Cool, so now we got our sheets. Perfect, all right, and then we just need to output that into, uh, let's just output it into like a little chest or something real quick. Let's just put it in 
Uh, barrel's fine. Dark oak barrel. And we'll just put that, like, right here. And we will output items auto-eject. Output right blue. There we go. So they're all going in here. We got 12 sheets already. That's all we need. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit. I don't know how many we need, but we need uh, a couple to make those things. So the other item that we're going to need... Oh, I didn't mean to put my temp pad in there. Poop. The other thing we're going to need is, I believe, brass. So if we go into... Uh, let's go back to polonium real quick. All right. So we're trying to make these pellets. We're trying to make this gas. We're trying to make this solar neutron activator thing. Uh, let's press A on that. So we can make all these things, and then we just need to make bronze, all right? So bronze is made by copper, tin, and this fire charge. Uh, is there another recipe? I don't see... Uh, let's see, bronze dust. Yeah, we can make bronze dust by using uh, copper dust and tin dust. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of tin out of here. All right, we'll just grab a whole entire stack, all right, and we'll stick it in here. And then we'll grab, let's see how much copper dust we have. Uh, we have 300, so we have a lot of it, so we can make that. So let's go ahead and type in bronze. So we're gonna need like, I think, man, I don't know how many we're gonna need of these, probably a couple, I don't know. Uh, bronze, let's get uh, bronze dust. And we can make this bronze dust real quick. A stack of bronze dust will work. Throw that in there. We got all the bronze we need in the world. All right, cool. And then we need to go in here and click on this and click on this. And let's do that, all right? So and that's going to put this in here. And then I need some speed upgrades. Let's do speed. Grab those. I didn't mean to grab them all. We'll put these in here so it crafts faster. Put those back. All right, and then let's go downstairs, grab some of these, take these back upstairs, stick them in here, all right? And then let's go to app mechanism. And what's this thing called? Uh, solar, so let's do solar, there we go. And then it's this thing right here, solar neutron activator. Okay, I wanna make four of these. Let's try that first. We have all the stuff to make it, yep. All right, let's make those. We're gonna put them actually on the roof, I think, all right? So here's the other thing we gotta do. <clears throat> that's that's step one, right? This, uh, the way that this thing works, if we go back into this thing, uh, the way that this works, it turns nuclear waste into polonium, which is what we need, right? Uh, to get the nuclear waste, though, from the beehives, remember we got all the cones now, so if we go to um, wasted, we have all these combs, we need to turn these combs into nuclear waste right here nuclear waste so we need a chemical oxidizer on the roof so let's go in here and see if we have the pattern for a chemical oxidizer and we do so let's go ahead and craft one of those and let's go ahead and get these energy upgrades that we made because we're gonna need those upstairs and let's see if we can make some speed ones too uh, we already have a bunch of speed ones that works too all right and then let's go back into mechanism at mechanism and let's grab uh, our four solar neutron activators. All right, that doesn't look like they stack. They don't. They stack in our system, but not in our in our inventory. And that's that. And then we're gonna need uh, what was the other thing that we needed? Um, the chemical oxidizer, I believe, is what it was. Uh, let's see, chemical uh, chemical oxidizer. Yeah, that's what it was right there. All right. So I think that's all we need. So let's go upstairs. I don't have another. Oh, do I? I don't, so let's go up on the roof. And we have solar up there, plus we have power up here. I'm gonna use this power to see if this, if we can actually use this power to begin with. Um, this should be good though. So if we set these up up here, this will produce polonium, all right? So if I set these up like here, all right? And that's gonna take that, all right? Let's just set these up like this. I think that'll be good. All right, and then um, I don't know. I guess we put items in the back. How are we gonna do this? Because we need three sides, right? We need to pump something in. Yeah, so we should probably we should probably set these on top of the power. So let's get some more universal cables out here, like this. All right, and then we should be able to set these on top. All right, and then one here. All right, these should be. Oh, these don't need power. Oh, because they're solar powered. Oh man, that's stupid. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that. All right, well, it doesn't matter. We'll get them setting up like this. All right, so this is gonna pump in the nuclear waste and it's gonna pump out polonium 
right? So it's gonna pump out the back. So we'll need, now it's, this, is this liquid polonium? Probably sh probably is, I'm guessing. Um, nuclear waste polonium. I'm guessing this, this is a liquid. So if this is a liquid, we need gases, joules, fluids. We need this to be fluids out the back. And let's go ahead and get our configurator and let's put this back on fluids. Right, and then we'll go like this. Oh, oh. So, how does this work then? <laughs> Side configs, items, gas. Oh, it's a gas? Uh, okay, that's why. Oh my god, these things are so hard to break. I'm not kidding. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Well, since we already did that, let's go ahead and break these down. All right, guys, I've been doing a couple things just to keep the episode going along. So, I'm making a crusher. So I need to put these buckets in here, right? And then I need to make a crusher, crush. There we go, let's do that, start that. Um, oh, I didn't put the other bucket in there, there we go. So start that, all right, do that. And then I need to make the uh, at mechanism. I might have some of the upgrades already made. This is the advanced tier. And then I think that's the only tiers we need, right? How, what's the tiers go? Basic, all right, so we need to make a basic tier. Uh, do I have basic in here? I don't know if we do. I think we did. Yeah, I need to make a basic tier. So that's done. So um, let's get our crusher out of here. There's our nurturing fa factory. There's our crusher. Here's our basic. All right, I'm going up on the roof real quick. Let's turn our hover mode back on. All right, so upstairs, what we're going to do, I got this all set up. So this is our chemical oxidizer, right? This is going to bring in our honeycombs. Um, and then it's going to turn it into the waste or the the uh, polonium. Um, and then the polonium is going to go into these. I'm sorry. This turns the combs into waste. The waste goes into these. These use solar power to turn it into polonium. The polonium is going to come back out to the back side of this thing into this machine, this pressurized reaction chamber. This pressurized reaction chamber is going to use, um, I believe, water and the polonium, plus um, you can see here the, the formula is on the last page, I believe, right here. So it's going to use water and the polonium plus some fluorite dust to make polonium pellets, and then we'll get spent nuclear waste, which we'll put that in um, a tank and probably, we could probably, I don't know if we can, hmm, we'll have to put that somewhere. We'll see if we can trash can that. I don't know if we can, but we can get these polonium pellets out of this, right? So that's what we need. All right, so, and then I need a crusher first. So I need to put this crusher up here. We're gonna put that, um, let's just put that, let's put the crusher, how we wanna do this? Let's put the crusher here, right? And then uh, let's go ahead, I, do I have that flux point on me? I don't. I think this is gonna be enough power. I don't know. If it's not, we'll just put a flux point on all of this stuff. Um, Actually, let's break this and this. These things are gonna need power. This here, yeah, this is all gonna need power, isn't it? All right, so let's do this. I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is gonna be enough power. If not, we can, we can fix this. So let's get this ultimate cable here and we'll go like this, like this, all right? And then we're gonna set this machine up on top. So let's go like this. Let's break that and put that there and we'll set that machine on the top, which will help us out a little bit, like that. And then we'll put, just put this pressurized gas it's a gas yep so put this into the side there that'll work there all right and then we can actually put the crusher here on the this side um let's actually do something real quick let's do um let's get our configurator out let's do items all right and this will be an input you can see it's red input items which is perfect is what we need and then if i set this down items output that side perfect all right so we got this Bam. All right, so this is going to import the uh, fluorite dust, right? So we're going to put this here, go like this, right? And then we're going to wrench this. There should be nothing in here. There is fluorite. All right, so let's disconnect this, and then we will wrench this, and then we will tell this that we want the fluorite to come out, right? So let's add one of these, and then add fluorite, all right? And then we can connect this. Whoops to this. This will turn, all right, that didn't work. <laughs> I thought I added the fluorite. Add, there, let's get rid of that. There we go. Uh, make sure it's still empty, it is. All right, cool, so that's doing its thing, perfect. It's going slow, fluorite dust, and then the fluorite dust should, uh, we should auto eject. Puts the fluorite dust into here, okay. 
this is going to produce the polonium coming in this way and then we need we need the water to come in from we'll come in from the back i guess so we need to make another sink so let's make another sink these are so fun to make when especially when you don't have buckets of water all right so let's do a bucket real quick we'll fly over and grab some water out of the water over here all right let's go down grab some water let's come back up here and we got the sink that or the water we need so let's do sink we got the sink bam sink we'll put the sink here like so and then we'll run the water in the back so we need fluids which is exactly what this is let's make sure that this uh is on fluids off the back so let's change this to fluids uh fluids there we go and we want this uh oh wrong one crap goes here goes here yeah that's it so fluids uh fluids inputs on the red perfect all right and then let's put a pipe on there bam and then we'll wrench this, suck in the water. Cool. That's getting its stuff there, right? So that's getting water, and all we need now is this, right? So that's going to come from this, which is going to come from the honeycombs. Now, how are we going to get the honeycombs here? We're going to go and exchange. We're going to make some wrapping tape. <laughs> some packaging tape, I think is what it's called. So let's do... Um, Actually, you know what? They're in barrel. They're in. Yeah, we don't need to. So we just need to make. Um, we just need to make another drawer. You can. You don't need to do that. So start this. All right, and then let's get an upgrade for this one too. And um, a diamond one's fine. There, there's the diamond one. All right. So let's go grab that real quick, and we'll bring all our bees back, and we should be, or bring our honeycombs back, and we should be good, guys. And that will be the polonium pellets mod, or part of this and then next episode we'll make the machine yeah we'll make the machine so let's go ahead and uh let's break this we'll take this with us all right and then we'll put down a new one excuse me oh nope that's not the one i didn't mean to kill you dude sorry it's like man all right hold on all right so that's that one <laughs> let's grab this one all right let's put this one over here, right? And let's break this one. And that's the empty one. Put this here. There we go. And then put this in here. And we should have some combs pop in there here pretty soon. Here, we'll just do this to get it started. All right, we're doing good over here. And we got that one over there. Okay, cool. Let's go back home. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. All right. So yeah, when I uh, first started the episode and I came out of there, I just wanted to see what was going on. It uh, was pretty hilarious actually so let's go like this now i think i'm probably have to do an upgrade where i push stuff out of this i believe uh let's go to drawers um actually what's what mod is this this is functional storage so let's go to functional storage i think i have to make something for this at functional and it's like a push pull thing yeah it's right here so we need a pusher upgrade all right we need to go through this all right we need to at functional and then pusher upgrade. And does it require any drawer? Yeah, it's just any drawer and then a hopper. We can make a hopper real quick. So we'll put that in there and then let's just get a drawer, craft that. All right, we'll grab this and we'll put the recipe in there ourselves. Uh, functional storage. I believe that we could try it first though, but I believe I need one of these to get the, the item to get pushed out. All right, so. Let's go like this, but we'll see. Let's see if we can get this. That might just be if it has to get pushed into a hopper. I'm not quite sure. All right, does this work? So this will be items in the back. All right, so let's put this to items, and that's a input in the back. Oh, it's working, guys. Is it already working, working? Like, where is this getting sent to? Nuclear waste. It's not getting put into these, though. But that's the problem. All right, so we probably need to configure this as a gas, right? Gases. Um... That's an output, so we need to make this an input. All right, input, input, there we go, input. All right, how much radiation is this actually causing? <laughs> uh, actually, it looks like it's pretty confined. All right, we might be okay. We might be okay. So this is making polonium, all right, but it's not pushing it out, so we probably have to go in here and tell it to auto-eject. Auto-eject. All right, now is it working? Nope, still not working. So this is polonium, it's not ejecting. It says it's a gas, right? Uh, let's go back in here and can reconfigure these. This is a gas. That's no, that's that's an output. So I need these to be blue, 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 blue. There we go. It looks like it's in this pipe, and then this needs to be a gas uh, input. There we go. We are making pellets and lots of spent nuclear waste. So 
how am I going to get the nuclear waste out of here? I don't know, but we're probably going to put it in a barrel, I would imagine. Uh, let's do a uh, waste. Actually, let's go like this. Waste. Craft. Let's craft like two of these. Or four. That's fine. All right, there's two. All right, that works. And then let's put these like right... Um, Let's put them off the back. Let's put them right here. I'm probably going to fix this later. I'm thinking that if we just keep it here, we can just pull these out, right? I don't think it's going to produce that much. I don't know. I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> so that nuclear waste is liquid nuclear waste or is it just spent nuclear waste? I'm guessing it's a gas. Uh, let's actually do, let's do this real quick. We might have screwed ourselves on this, but we'll, we'll deal with it. All right, let's put this on the top and this dark one is going to be an output there this should be filling up yep it is okay cool so we just need to pull these out all right so there's the polonium pellets we've got polonium pellets guys just like that polonium pellets awesome we got her done guys we got it done let's go ahead and do this and take a picture there it is polonium pellets we're done all right guys so that's all we're going to do today next episode though we are going the reason i needed all of this junk is because if you go and look at this stuff so if we go and look at uh, antimatter right we're trying to make this little tiny antimatter little tiny piece here and it doesn't look like it's showing up right here so in order to make this right we need to make it in a thing called a sps casing or i told you what it was called earlier uh super phase shifting whatever but it requires these polonium pellets and plutonium pellets we'll make this that's not gonna be that hard but it requires this it takes four of them for one casing all right we need a lot of these not like a lot but we need quite a few so this is just going to continue making these pellets. I need to pull them out so we can go ahead and put them in a chest or something real quick. Um, let's see if we have a barrel. We do have a barrel. Uh, can I upgrade that barrel real quick? Let's just grab this. And let's make it like an iron barrel real quick. So let's do a dark oak iron barrel. That works. And then let's put this away. Let's actually make a gold one since we're here. And we'll do that. All right, cool. So then we'll just pull these out. Put that right there. And then I'll just do item export. And then we'll put this on items. And then uh, let's go back. Fluid items. There we go. Items export. And then I just need to go and wrench that on our end like so. And then we should have them in there. There we go. So there's our polonium pellets. Sweet. Yep, there it is. I'm actually going to use that as a picture instead of the other one since it's more complete. All right, guys, thanks for watching. But what I'm saying is we need, we need to make that thing. Once we get that thing made, we're, we're done with antimatter. We'll just make antimatter in the background, and then we'll move on. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. And uh, hopefully you don't blow up our base with all this stuff on top with this radiation. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you next episode.